Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, the third most appreciated spring Jack impersonator in the Lower East Dunwall area, and today it's time for the next episode of my Dishonored Let's Play. Specifically, it is time for the next episode of my incredibly violent, incredibly murdery side playthrough where I do the high chaos mode of the game, uh, rather than the low chaos mode that I do throughout the main Let's Play. Before we jump in, I do want to mention that tonight should be the first episode of my new streaming series. I do have a streaming schedule again, I didn't for a while because I was on hiatus, but um, if you want to see me stream Resident Evil uh, 8 live, then tune in tonight on my Twitch channel. I have a general schedule and also I announce uh, random unplanned streams of other games in advance. If you want to see those streams, in a, if you want to know about those in advance, uh, go follow me on Twitter if you want to, to, you know, get stream announcements and stuff on Twitch, then go follow me on Twitch. All of these links are in the description of this video. And yeah, so that's all, so let's dive in. Because I have a busy schedule of murders. Is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. It... Or is it the itching that really gets you? Hey, is this guy what bothering you? Jasper, isn't it? Because you seem a little tied up, and so he's... Bad in here. He's clearly... I miss your wife. I want to huh. take that as permission. You you lost your senses. I thought you had two heads for a second, but that was a grenade. What a sight you are in that mask. I'm... I really don't care who you are or what you have to say. All I'm right, only letting you out be because I ha here, have so to. I'll make... <laughs> so, we are going to grab one new power today, which is Rat Swarm, or Devouring Swarm, because, well, um, I'm going to be relying on bend time throughout the main Let's Play because it's by far the most powerful spell in the game, and it lets you do all sorts of things that are very fun, both if you are murdering people and if you are not murdering people. However, uh, I'm going to be using that and maybe some possession in the main Let's Play, so that means these spells will never get seen, so I want to take these in this side Let's Play so you get to see them. Devouring Swarm is really useful as... Um, an attack spell, it's also useful to get rid of corpses, it's also useful to um, manipulate guard behaviour and AI uh, in some interesting ways. So let's have some fun with that, because we do have a very busy murder schedule, a lot of a lot of people to, to slaughter, a lot of, a lot of shit to do, a lot of things to see. What a mess! You know, for guys who are obsessed with order, you really do cause a lot of trouble. This guy really lost his head. I mean, the thing about this religion is that regardless of what they say, they don't actually have a leg to stand on. I mean, here they are. We're talking about, you know, order and degeneracy and so on, and here they are, legless in the street. They should all get the boot, if you ask me. Who would throw out perfectly good bolts? Someone it's such a... Out. oh shit. Find you. It's going to be bad. Ah, he did not see me. Weird that he, he noticed the boot, but he didn't notice me. Joker voice, you know what the sign of madness is? It's doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. I say, succeeding entirely at that. This is going pretty well, you know. I'm a shoe-in for murderer of the year at this rate. Excuse me, sir? Sir, do you have a mop I can borrow? I made kind of a mess with your friend. Well now. I mean... This is clearly an incident of friendly fire. I don't think I can be blamed for any of these things that just happened. You know, this guy could have survived easily. I shot him in the face, which just knocked him down, and then I stabbed him a little bit. You know, anyone can survive a little stabbing. So, um, I think really the blame for this death lies solely with his ally over here. This guy made a huge mistake. And I, once again, as always, am blameless. 
One of the interesting things about um, actually fighting people on this one, this run, uh, unlike the main run, is that we do get to see some of these interesting reactions. Like these guys, they are immune to headshots from the front because they wear these big steel masks. So if you want to, you can shoot them in the face. If you get a square hit right in the middle of their face, it will knock them down. Um, it's the same with crossbow bolts. You can sort of stagger them and stun them by, by knocking them aside. Also. Always a good idea to sneak in the back way, but I'm actually just going to clear this place out early. Boreal's gone to the flooded district and all the rest of them, so it's just me tonight. What? That's Don't patently untrue. In addition to all of his other crimes, this guy is clearly a liar. There's two other patrolling guards in this area. So there's a couple of fun things, uh, especially programmed just for this area. There is a rabid dog that you can let out, and there's also a rat swarm running around, which I guess isn't specially programmed for this area, but no is still not something you can manipulate so easily. Look at those teeth. You're a righteous monster for sure. Buddy, there is something wrong with you. The reason I knock this guy out is so that when we uh, have a little fun here. Is that not? Oh, there we go, great. Go on, lads. Eat up. Or, I, uh... There we go. I was worried for a second. I've been having some real trouble with the rat union lately. Doesn't matter how many corpses I give them, how many, how many benefits I offer, these ungrateful rats just won't do what I tell them. Sounds like they found it. I guess he solved that problem, huh? He's just sitting there thinking, damn, this place is really going to the dogs. Do you think he'll pause for a second? Maybe he'll get caught with his pants down? Get it? Because, like, a dog panting. It's very funny. Is this going to work, or am I barking up the wrong tree? There definitely was a guy- oh, there we go. Battle of Champions. Nice shot. Who taught you to shoot? Some guy with who couldn't shoot? Good. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Like many serial killers, Bastard Corvo is um, very kind and gentle towards animals. You know, doesn't like to hurt hurt animals. Ha perfectly happy to kill the fuck out of people in grotesque ways. Oh, they fed this guy a, a whole ass human being. Okay. Looks like someone ratted on this guy. So I do actually have a, a kind of a, a vague plan for what to do here. I'm not going to poison both of the poisonable things. Hey, got a light. You know what is a really good idea? I think you should isolate yourself from the group. I think you should go off and investigate something alone. What the fuck? Interesting. Interesting how you are now the only guy in that particular area and there's no one else around. Definitely a sensible decision to make when there's a Corvo on the loose. Damn, they're really going at it, huh? This new contract I negotiated with the uh, the rat union is going great. Uh, 
I could not have planned that better. That was brilliant. This might be it, lads. Okay, that's not so bad. My my, my last save wasn't very far back, so I'll just uh, catch up to where I was. Knock. Hello? Uh, hi. Could you, uh, open up? Would you like to learn about our lord and saviour, the dark-eyed outsider, bastard of the void? Hello? A little bit further. The guy in the back didn't even flinch. That's, that is a hard man if ever I saw one. Didn't even blink at his buddy getting eviscerated. Hey, boo. Then, uh... The alarm getting set off, unfortunately. So, with a bit of luck, we should be able to uh, complete this plan. Have you guessed what it is yet? This normally works. Why isn't this working? a god amongst men. Oh wow! Levitating head syndrome, you don't see that very much anymore. They cured it about six years ago in, in, in setting time. Oh, I love to desecrate holy places, this bastard is cool though. Oh, and here's a nice touch. I actually only discovered this the other day. I've been playing this game for 10 years now. Um, it never occurred to me that you could just fucking rob the money out of the, the charitable donation box. It's delightful that you can. It's very much bastard Corvo behavior. Give me a wallet. Hey, I heard you were talking shit. And now you've learnt your lesson. There, now everyone will think he's merely having a nap on duty. is a much better situation for me and really no different of a situation for him. But why Corvo? The one man here. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, well that didn't quite go according to plan.
Wait, I hear footsteps. Hmm. <gasps> yes. Well, that didn't work at all. My hope here was that if I skidded into him, I could uh, kick him right out the window. Unfortunately, turns out um, that guy is immune to windows. Defenestration defense is actually a tactic that these guys are trained. It's one of it's one part of their major um, anti-witch training because one of the things about witches is that they're very good at throwing people out the window. Ooh, free torture implement. Nice. It's always good to have some spare torture implements on hand because you never know when you need to go to brutalize someone. Any number of little bastard tricks you can pull here. Um, you know, obviously you can poison both of them, poison one or the other of them. Oh, there's a bottle there. I never Servants noticed that before. Been in here. Let me see. Uh, or you can place landmines in certain places so that they will, you know, obviously explode. No. But I have a little, ah, a little trick are. set up for these guys, no, which of which you me. almost certainly or are already aware. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I hate the way he says that. I don't that. understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. How misogynistic. It's a Tivian Red. I never would have expected that the head of a major Thank religion, you. which seems to only employ men in its highly militarized armed branch, I owe um, you an could possibly be uh, misogynistic at all. Astonishing. <laughs> I like how Kurnow is very clearly like, this sucks and I hate you and you're clearly up to something, but I really just want this to be over with, so fine, whatever. I've had enough waiting. I'm going in. Huh? What? I love it when a plan comes together. I think they actually pause their scripting here until you catch up. And that's that's it for Jeffrey Kerr now. He's off. It's also it for High Overseer Campbell, who will uh be depicted as having died as he lived, a uh, incredibly louche hypocrite. Ha, huh, what's this, some garbage? It's like a picture of an idiot asshole that everybody hates. I'm gonna throw this in the trash. I do think that uh, Kurnow's gonna have a hard time explaining this when he gets back home. Like he's doing a good job. Uh, I only have one. I only have one magnanim magnanimity point per per session, and some other guy already earned it. So it sucks to be you, I guess. Well, you know what they say: two heads are better than one. It's illegal to make fun of me for how often I miss my jump, so I hope you understand that. Hey, uh, are you guys union? No? Fantastic. Can't 
can't believe I missed the jump again. I love the mental image of just like two guards having a conversation, you know, by a by a wall or something. They're just enjoying themselves, having a, having a little chat about, you know, who is and is not going to get a squad after what happened last night and whether or not they're going to meet for whiskey and cigars. And then there's just a whistling noise and a thump as a a poleaxed assassin slams into the ground next to them. Like, wow, where the fuck did he come from? Is he is he dead? Is he okay? And then one of them reaches down and then suddenly he's behind them and murdering them. I wonder if he'll make enough noise. The incendiary bolts don't really do anything other than the um, killing bolts. They're not, they don't explode very much. They don't do very, very much like peripheral damage. There's not much of an AoE to them. However, they are like the tranquilizer bolts in that they will do an instant, uh, well not instant, but they will kill something fully from one hit. It does not have the, uh... Hey, nice work. That's two kills on, that don't have to be on my conscience. Not that any of my kills are on my conscience. Funny you should mention that, actually. I cannot thank you enough. I must get my sister to safety, but first I may know of a way to thank you. I don't it's actually care, I already the know the answer, but uh, the combination is two, these zero, guys, they display three. the proper attitude and that's why they're alive. As we all know, Corvo Otano requires tribute in order for you to not be murdered. He also falls off things all the fucking time. It's actually really cool that there's this level of representation for dyspraxic assassins. It is very entertaining to me that you can use the Super Mario Goomba Stomp to reposition guards in such a way. Wow, it's really nice of these guys to have built a lab dedicated entirely to constructing weapons for me to use to destroy them. Really, really magnanimous. Really, really like community focused, um, community focused thinking and behavior. Because like, you know, the local murderers are a really important part of our local community. They, they're, they're so valuable for population control, for, you know, striking at all levels of society so that there's more of a parity between the upper classes and the lower classes. They're just a vital part of the, uh, the natural ecosystem in cities, you know. So, uh, and yet despite that, there's such an underserved demographic. You find very few public services, um, available to assassins and murderers and serial killers. It's just, it's an absolute oversight, and it's really nice that these guys are at least, you know, they're fulfilling their, their religious moral obligations to, to provide for everyone. By providing for me, specifically, by letting me steal all their shit. Did I take that guy out already? I guess I did. Oh, that's right, I fell off and then I murdered everybody, because that's what I do. And over here we have a cutscene which is different depending whether you play high or low chaos. No, it's just a little cough. I'm fine. I feel completely fine. Fine? Look at you. You have the plague. You were trying to conceal it from us, your brothers in the Order. Was that your intent? To spread the malady to us? No, friend. I tell you, I am well. <laughs> As fit as ever. Put down your weapon. Guard firing. Die. Damn it. Where'd he go? You have no idea how many takes this here. took to get right. Live to spread another day, O oh brother of plagues. Uh, 
Do these guys disappear? Holy shit, did I hit the... I think I hit the uh, the corpse cap. That's interesting. I never expected that to happen. I'm going to have to tweak it upwards. So I am actually using a modded ini file for the game that changes one thing and one thing only. Um, the base game only allows you to have uh, up to five... Um, what it classes as corpses, but up to five, you know, bodies and knocked out people. Uh, wait, hang on, was that not the answer to this? I'm dumb, I can't enter maths. Anyway, so that's because of engine uh, restraints from the very first uh, release of the game, which was of course on consoles, um, an older console generation. It could only handle having that many, like, loose um, unplanned objects being around, which meant that you could only have five bodies, and knocked out people and corpses would both start disappearing as soon as you hit that and it would only retain the most recent five. That's very unrealistic and it's also very out of character for a game like an immersive sim where you are supposed to care about where you have and have not left bodies because, you know, they can be found, they could, you know, alert other people and so on. Um, similarly, if you're playing non-lethally, then it just feels wrong for people to disappear regardless of whether or not they're alive or dead. So I modded that to store up to 99 instead. It looks like that may in fact have been too low. I should probably tweak that to be 999. Ooh. I think I'll save that one for later. So uh, yeah, the other thing about that cutscene is that, um, yeah, so here on High Chaos, Everyone hates each other and is very paranoid all of the time. That's That feeds into this idea about, like, your actions kind of having ramifications and spreading out through the world. That's why it's the chaos system, uh, as it's known. But, yeah, um, it's kind of difficult to get what happened to happen, and I may actually... I don't know right now because I'm not editing this live, obviously, because I'm still recording, but I might edit in a better version of that fight that happened when I was recording the other day so that you can see how it would have gone ideally. I already spent about eight takes on it and I couldn't be bothered to do it again, so... You know, I do want to see... I do want you to see how that can look when it goes right. Because the scripting of it is quite complicated and interesting. There is a point where their allegiances flip. If you if you shoot before their allegiances flip and one of them becomes, you know, classed as an enemy to the others, then what actually happens is that you interrupt the scripting and all three of them Oh shit. Huh. That was pretty cool. Um, it's interesting to see that, you know, they can still complete their animations and so on and then fall asleep halfway through their animations. That's a level of robustness you don't get in a lot of games. Because I hit it with the sleep dart, but the sleep dart doesn't take effect immediately. So what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, so at a certain point in that cutscene's animation, there is a moment where their allegiances flip, and I think it's when they pull their swords out. If you um, interrupt them before then, it breaks the scripting and they would just resume normal guard behaviour. Um, which obviously is not ideal for what we're doing. So there is a trick if you want to intervene. If you don't intervene, there it's scripted all the way through and um, you essentially, you watch them just stab the guy and he dies. Uh, the guy sneaking up behind him just uh, gives him an instantaneous stab in the back and that's it and it's over and it's a scripted death. Which means that if you interrupt too early, they all revert to ordinary guard routines and if you interrupt too late, even though the guard hasn't stabbed the other the other guy yet, he still flops down dead because it's just a toggle in the in the scripting as to whether or not he's alive or dead. Which means you have to be very precise in your timing, and then there's a lot of determinative factors about, you know, where these guys are standing and how they react and what their AI decides to do in result, response to any given stimulus. Which means that if you want to get the perfect result, which I think I probably am going to have edited in from my other from my uh my the private thing I was recording the other day, then um, yeah, you'll, you'll see how that works, but uh, that can work in any number of ways. The one guy can kill both the other guys, the other guys can kill the guy. One or the other of them might win or lose, they might choose to fight with swords or guns or any number of different things. There's a lot of it, and uh, that's how you know you get the real deal with me. I talk about these things instead of just editing it into being the perfect 
most wonderful, accurate, best thing, uh, rather than, you know, because I could have just edited that in, in and tried to make it look seamless. But I am honest, that's how you can know you can trust me. World's most trustworthy gaming YouTuber. Oh, fuck. Oh no, he's fine. See, he's, he's doing a little wiggle, he's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, there's definitely no damage to his brainstem. Hey, Sam, is that you? Hey, can you catch this for me? Thanks. Sam, you didn't catch it. That's such a shame. I was going to take him home. It's Samuel. I'm here. Yeah, I know. I was going to take this guy home and raise him and care for him and... and, and keep him in the cellar and bring him treats and, and it was going to be such a nice life for him and then you didn't even catch him and now he's dead and everything's ruined. This sucks. You suck. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Mm, I can't stay mad at you. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's go. Oh, so close. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. Please don't thank me. Honestly, it was a complete accident. It was sheer chance that he was not exploded into tiny pieces by the landmines I planted for the man he was standing next to. So really, don't thank me. Um, you're just incredibly lucky, and so is he. We have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. What's up, my dudes? You did it. Somehow you. I don't care. Between John Clavering Boulevard and Dunwall. <laughs> this place would fall apart in ten minutes without me. Actions. The state Is that so? On you. Yeah, she's in not wrong. Case, you are terrible and also me. suck. I went through. I know the golden cat. Not as a patron, mind you. Bullshit. Some... <laughs> She's I'm not into sorry, you because you're I terrible and you look like a rat. Alright, what tedious bullshit do you have for me today, gentlemen? Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining. Yeah, yeah, more dirty work. Go murder a political adversary, Corvo. Go clear out the homeless people in the sewers, Corvo. Go make the tea, Corvo. It's like, what am I? Their general dog's body? Just because they saved me from being a corpse doesn't mean they get to tell me what to do all of the time, except that somehow it does. Fun fact, rats will not attack weepers because, uh... The rats are so heavily, you know, incorporated into the life cycle of whatever kind of parasite it is that causes this disease. Well, anyway, that's my civic duty for the day done, I guess. Just call me Corvo Watano, registered district nurse. You say that, but you people really need to stop surprising me because I am on a hair trigger. There, I get so close to murdering one of you people every minute of the day. Like, for fuck's sake, don't tap me on the shoulder when I'm not looking. Jesus Christ. Corvo. Fun fact, when I was previously job. attempting to record this episode yesterday, at the very start, when I shot that overseer in the back of the head, uh, fun fact about the bullets in this game, they actually have, um, like, a shotgun effect. It, it fires, like, several small pellets. Well, I mean, it's not very obvious here, but... It, oh, that might only be the... No, that can't be the upgrade, because it happened here. Um... So you can actually hit multiple people. Oh, what? You were firing guns back here yesterday. I'm not allowed to fire guns today? Double standards. But yeah, so um, because of that, one of the pellets went over his over the overseer's shoulder, past, um, past him and into Martin while he was tied up at the front of the 
gate in the uh, the beginning of the level. It hit him in the head and he died instantaneously and I got a irreconcilable differences game over, which is what happens if you kill any of the members of the uh, the this. I think it does it if you... In fact, let's check this out. What happens if I do this? <gasps> the royal protector. Just the man I needed to speak with. Someone help! Corvo, have you gone mad? Someone help! Corvo, have you gone mad? I mean, you kind of hired me specifically as your own mad dog, but, uh... Yeah, okay, so almost anywhere else that will trigger a, uh... An oppositional thing where, where, where someone's, like, loyalty flips and they become aggressive towards you. Um, I think if you throw bottles at them, maybe they do? I'm not sure. Just the man I needed to speak with. Do you only have two voice lines? Shut the fuck up. Bravo. I'm busy and also you suck and I hate you. Oh, hang on, I need to talk to Piero. Um, inveterate Bellend. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? We are not friends and it's kind of sad that you think we are. <coughs> I will see you later, but only because I have to. Hey Sam, so when you're killing a man, do you prefer to put the knife in from below the ribs or above the ribs? Uh, I know there's some people who say that like through the ribs is the best way to go, uh, but I think that's too much risk of sticking with your knife. Um, I personally like oh, between well, the collarbone. Collarbone. Um, yeah, but... Well, you know, you think about it and I'll get back to you next time. That's all going to be from... That's going to be all from me. I'll catch you later. Bye! If you like this, you can also follow me on Twitter for updates, stream announcements, and one-tweet micro-reviews, or why not donate to me via Patreon or Ko-fi, or just share my work. Thank you so much for watching.